Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carl and I hope you are having a wonderful day. On today's video, we'll be talking about Crypto Hopper. I'll do an update on my uh, last video that I did on Crypto Hopper. I will show you my current situation. I'll show you my gain, my loss, and I will show you the overall performance of my bot in the last month. So you can compare with yours to see if it's similar to mine. And also I did a small modification because I realized sometimes the bug was closing um, slightly negative, uh, but there was maybe a little bit too much of a negative closing. There was a lot of positive, good positive, but some of the negative, I was looking to see if I could prevent them. Um, so I did a very small modification, so I'll show you and you can try it if you want, if it make any difference in your case. And I will also answer some of the questions that you've been asking me in the comment section from the previous video. So stick around and let's start this right now. All right. Uh, before I forgot, one small tips that I can give you is when you're watching a video and you would like to increase the speed, sometimes there are very important information uh, that we skip and that we don't hear. So one thing I could suggest you is to increase the speed of the video of the playback when you're watching a video. So if you're, if you're watching YouTube on a computer, just go at the bottom of the video and you'll see right in the corner right there's a gear. Uh, that's for your setting and from there you can change the uh, playback um, to uh, like 1.5 or, or 1.75 uh, faster than normal and on your phone just tap on the video itself you'll have a menu showing up like three little dot click on the three dot and from there you can change your playback speed all right so that being said uh, let's go to my screen first of all if you don't know what's crypto opera i'll put the link in the description if you want to have a seven days free trial and if you want to learn more about crypto upper i'll just put a video up here on top uh, so you can better understand the trading platform on this video is a follow-up from my previous video so if you're looking to have more detail on those specific settings i will also put a, a link in the description also on top of the screen so you can have a look on the first part of this video so where am I at right now? So if I go to my dashboard, yeah, market right now is really looking bad. Uh, we've been going down now for a few days. Uh, so for that's one good reason that I don't have any open trade right now. And I'm very happy about it because I would probably lose a lot of money. So I don't know if you remember guys, when I did my last video, my current profit was at 43%. So I did about 20% uh, profit in the last uh, 30 days in the last month because my last video was at the end of August and we are currently almost at the end of uh, September. Uh, so not quite a month. And if I show you my uh, stats, So if I go from September 1st up to, let's say yesterday, September 20th, um, as you can see, I do have some negative um, transaction, but they are very slim, like 0.97, I got 1.91 here, 0.25 and 0.59. And if you look at the gain, it's like 9%, 12%, 12% uh, also, I have a 2.6% here. So my gain are a lot bigger compared to my loss. So that's why when I have a loss, it will go down a little bit, but it will spike up every time there's a good uh, positive trade going on. So what I did though, like I told you in the introduction, I did a small change so we can maybe try to prevent those small and negative one. If you have a bigger negative than those one than me, uh, it's probably you're not using the right coin for that strategy. So what I would recommend you is just to look right here uh, on the average profit per coin and go down the list. So if I go to the worst one, like in my case, it would be Dash. So probably I could just go in my setting and remove Dash from my tradable uh, coin. 
so at least I only keep the be better one so let me go to my base config I'll go to coin and I'll just remove dash from the list there you go so right now I have nine coins selected make sure to save all right so let me show you the quick change that I did so let's go to the strategy itself so find your strategy in my case I called it the new EMA 15 minute and the small change that I did first thing is on the EMA um, so the for the buy signal I changed the period to 30 minute before it was on 15 minute uh, but I realized it was a little bit better on the 30 minute also I changed the short period so now my two periods are 10 and the second one is 200 and I'll show you uh, on the chart what it did and then close and all the other it stays the same the only thing you have to make sure that if your buy is on 30 minute well your sell right here has to be the same it has to be on 30 minute 10 and 200 and directional index uh, it's still the same make sure it's on the one hour but everything is uh, the same and make sure that you don't have necessary signal on those two cell uh, because what I what I'm looking for it's one or the other to trigger the cell and this one is very important so make sure you have your little dot right here or if you click here you just put your check mark right here when it's done make sure to click on save to save your configuration all right, so if we go on the chart, just to give you an idea the change that I did. So this is used to be the 15 minute chart. So if you look right here, um, the EMA 10 was going up, trigger a buy signal, and then was going back down right away. It was selling right away right here. So there was no big loss, but still there was a small loss. Uh, right here, it just missed it. Uh, but sometimes you see that the price was just going up a little bit and then going back down so it was triggering a buy and then triggering a sell right after so that's why there was a very small uh, loss but by changing it on the 30 minute and changing the uh, EME uh, to 10 instead of 5 well now you have less a fake buy signal like this one it just missed it so it didn't buy uh, you got a buy right here this one no buy go go one one good one right here see this one it just missed it and now it's start to go back down again uh, so it it trigger less um, negative sell signal using this uh, setup and as you can see um, the last time it crossed up was on September 14 and we are now September 21st so it's been a week the last time it triggered a buy signal and if you look at the market well it's been pretty bad in the last week actually market was down from the top to the bottom almost 30 percent so for the last week market was pretty bad uh, but I can see right now on the 30 minute chart I can see there's a double bottom forming right now so usually this is bullish this is looking good so probably market will go up here if it does we just need to wait for confirmation to cross right here and then it just should shoot up if you want to make a quick trade on this that would be very very easy all you have to do is to measure from top to bottom and you just bring it here and you take your profit right here but anyway that's one of the trade that I will probably look at in the next few hours but when you have double bottom double top like that are there are very easy uh, to trade and very easy to find usually it's mean it's a reversal uh, pattern but anyway um, crypto in general where is not going very very good in the last few days so that's why crypto operators should not take any trade so let's go back to the uh, setting so if I go back to my config base config I haven't changed much uh, the only thing I could probably tell you would be the um, profit when you do a sell right here take profit um, I put it at 12 but you could increase it right here if you want to since we are we are now trading on the 30 minute chart you can probably put it at 15% but in my case just for the next couple weeks 
I won't use this. Uh, I, I will sell only using the strategy. So by putting a number really high right here, this won't trigger. I'll just want to test it for the next maybe week or two, depending on the market is going. I want to see if it's working a little bit better. But in your case, if you don't want to go that way, I would probably recommend you 14 or 15 percent at the most. 14 percent, I think it would be a good number. So every time the price would hit 14 percent, it will sell your position. The only thing is if the price keep going up, uh, you'll be losing some profit. But if it start going back down, uh, at least you're locking your profit at 14 percent. And that's about it. All the rest, all the settings are identical from the uh, previous video. All right, so let me show you my trade history now. And you will see, even though that have a lot of negatives right here, they're all very small. It's all small negative. Like this one, my last trade was a 12% profit. I have one right here at 11.5% profit, 7.1% for 2.95 so a lot of them they are very big profit so that's why i'm still making money uh even though i have a lot of negative but they are very small negative uh, like at 1.97 percent um a 100 dollar trade that would represent only a dollar 97 uh in loss so it's no big deal like 0.46 here and it will look like 12 12 percent so that's why my account is still growing, even though I have a little bit more uh, loss. But like I said, with the new setting that I just show you, it will probably reduce the amount of loss that you will be getting. And you should probably, we should probably make a little bit uh, more profit. Now, to answer some of your question, if you're starting your bot in the last couple of days and you're asking yourself why your bot is not trading or taking any trail, well, just look at the output right here. So since my bot is not doing anything because there's no trade to open, the market has been tanking down 30% in the last week. So there's no position to take. But if I would have an error or something wrong, I would, I would see it right here. If I look at my current target, I can see there's no target found. I can go across all the coin I have in my list and it's mostly neutral or probably sell. Yeah, they're all neutral right now. So there's no action. There's nothing right now on the market to, um, to favor any kind of opening. And also you can use the package at $19 or $49 without any problem. Um, I tested and the one at $99 and I don't see any good value in it except for some of the uh, strategies that we can add. Um, but for that setting, the smaller package at $19 or $49, uh, it's more than enough. It would perform very well. Right now, I'm using this strategy on the Explorer, which is the $19 package. I did try it also on the $49, and I couldn't really see any difference. It's been performing pretty well on those package. And also, I know there's a lot of you been asking me how this strategy would perform on a bear market on on a downtrend. Was well, as you can see, we've been pretty we've been going down pretty much um in the last couple of weeks if we go from here that was september 6 up till today that's over three weeks that the market it's been going down actually if i measure from the top right here on september 6 till today we are almost 40 percent below but if i look at my chart and in the last couple of weeks, there was still very good trade. Even though there was a very small negative one, I still managed to get very good trade. And my account did grow uh, in the last month. So is that strategy is working in every market? Yes, for sure it's better when it's on an uptrend. Uh, not good at all when it's ranging and not so bad. Well, actually not so bad. If the market is on a downside, it won't take any trade. And if it does, there will be very small loss. So you should not lose too much money. If you're looking for a good trading bot when the market is currently ranging, I did a lot of video on it. Um, Bits gap, it's my favorite of all of them. 
It worked very good. I've been using Bitscap now for months and months and I've been generating a lot of money. If you look on my channel, you see all the video on Bitscap. But if the market is really trending up, um, Crypto Opera is a very, very good uh, platform and very performing. It's a very good performing platform. And my goal here with my video is to give you the knowledge so you can better understand Crypto Opera. So you can at least see what's going on and try different things and modify it to see if you can perform very well. I know a lot of you are been giving me some comment that you did try different things that you did modify and you seen a better result. And I love seeing those comments. It's just perfect. Keep doing it. So that's why my video is to give you all the knowledge possible. If you see some coin are not performing very good, well, remove them from your available coin. Try different one to see if it perform better. I hope you do like those kind of video. If it's the case, well, I would really appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up on this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, well, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my future video. So that's it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you very soon on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.